In uh, this short video, we're gonna talk about mask layer and vector masks and clipping mask. You can uh, add a mask to a layer and use the mask to hide the portions of the layer and reveal the layers below. Masks are non-destructive, which means that you can go back and re-edit the masks uh, later without losing the pixels they hide. You can uh, use a bib map and uh, this is called uh, layer mask or you can use a shape and this is called vector mask. In uh, the layers palette both the layer and vector mask uh, appear as an additional thumbnail to the right of the layer thumbnail. For the layer mask, this thumbnail represents the grayscale channel that it's created, created uh, when you add the layer mask. The vector mask thumbnail represents a path that clips out the contents of the layer. You can edit a layer mask or add or subtract from uh, the mask region. A layer mask it's a grayscale image, so areas you paint in black are hidden and areas you paint in white are visible. Areas you paint in shades of gray appear in uh, various levels of transparency. A vector mask creates a sharp edge shape on a layer and it's useful uh, anytime you want to add a design element with with clean and defined edges. Uh, when you add a layer mask, you need to decide if you want to hide or show all of the layer. Later, you'll paint on the mask to hide portions of that layer and reveal the layers beneath. Or you can create a layer mask uh, that automatically hides a portion of the layer by making a selection before creating the mask. You can move masks between layers by dragging them in the layers palette or you can duplicate them by holding alt k when dragging. Editing a layer mask is easy. You select it from the layers palette and edit it just like a grayscale image, keeping in mind that black hides and white reveals. To display just the layer mask, you can hold it, ho you can hold down Alt K while clicking on its thumbnail. Optionally, you can uh, display the layer mask in a ruby leaf color by holding down shift and alt and clicking on its thumbnail. To come back from one of these types of view, you just repeat the command. Shift clicking the thumbnail, you can disable or enable the mask. To remove a layer mask, you can click and drag to the recycle bin in the left corner of the layers palette. You can uh, create vector masks that reveal or hide the whole uh, layer going to layer vector mask revealer or uh, going to layer vector mask and hide all. Or if you have selected a path made with the pen or any shape tools, choose layer vector mask current path. Editing vector mask is possible by uh, selecting in the layer palette and using one of the vector tools. Same commands as for the layer mask can be used for the vector ones to disable, enable and delete. Uh, choosing rasterize, you can convert a vector mask to a layer mask. By default, a layer or a group is linked to its layer mask or vector mask, as indicated by the link icon between the thumbnails in the layers palette. 
the layer and its mask move together in the image when you move either one with the move tool. Unlinking them lets you move them independently and uh, shift the mask boundaries separately from the layer. You can apply a layer mask to permanently delete the hidden portions of a layer. Layer masks are stored as alpha channels, so applying and deleting layer masks can uh, help reduce file size. You can also delete a layer mask without applying the changes. To load a layer or layer mask boundaries as a selection, you can uh, hold down Control or command k and click on uh, its thumbnail in the layers palette you can also make non-destructive uh, masks using clipping mask a clipping mask lets you use the content of a layer to mask the layer above it the masking is determined by the content of the bottom or base layer. The non-transparent content of the base layer, uh, it will reveal the content of the layer above it. All other content in the clipping layers is masked out. So that's pretty much it. Thank you. See you soon.